All right, so I'm going to be talking about lines 49 through 53. And the idea here is what they call string levels. They want you to get used to moving your bow this way, if you play uh, a violin or a viola, to get onto the different strings. So when I, when I play my vi viola here, and I'm resting my bow on the D string, it looks like this. But if I want to play the A string, I have to bring my arm down. So this is D, this is A. And if you look at your bow touching the string, you can see which string it's touching. Please remember again, this is a viola, so that's my A and that's my D. If this were a violin, it would be A and D, okay? Now, for cello and bass players, how do you like my mini uh, cello here? All right, so your arm is going to come forward or back rather than up and down, just because of the way your instrument works. But the concept is the same. You want to be able to get your bow onto the string that you're bowing. And so you have to move your arm forward or back if you're cello or bass, down or up if you're violin and viola. All right, so let's do line 49, all right? And let's say the note names first. One, two, three, four. A, 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 A. Rest, 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 rest. D, 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 D. Rest, 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 rest. A, 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 A. Rest, rest. Rest, rest, D, 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 rest, 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 rest. Now, hopefully you noticed in there that I moved my arm to get to the different strings, okay? And again, if it's a cello or bass, I bring moving my arm forward. Okay, and now, so, teeter-totter, let's do that one, and we'll count one and two and three and four and in this one, okay? This is a short one. I like this one. One and two and three and four and 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 all right all right now I think you get the idea how this works um, only other concept on this page which I need to teach you about is called the bow lift so I'll let you figure out mirror image on your own but with bow lift. It's, it's a really cool effect where you are playing your, using your bow, and then they, let's say you did a down bow, right? And then they wanted you to do another down bow. Well, you wouldn't have much bow left. So what you do is you pick up your arm and you bring your bow back. So watch this. I'm going to play an A. Now notice that I'm almost out of bow, right? So I'm going to lift up my bow and just put it back like that. So that motion is called the bow lift. So when you see the thing that looks like an apostrophe or a comma, and it's written in your book right there, that's called the bow lift. You just pick your bow up and you reset it. And bow lifts can be worked from either direction. So if you, in other words, if you did an up bow, and they want you to do another up bow, you can pick up and also reset that way. All right? All right, so I'm going to do a strand of DNA and demonstrate that bow lift. All right, here goes, and I'll say the note names this time. Notice that I'm beginning about a third of the way up from where my hand is, all right? Notice my hand position, okay? Here goes. One, two, three, four. D, 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 A, 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 D, D, A, 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 D. Rest, rest, rest. D, D. Rest, rest, rest. Okay, so there you have it. Have fun.